I became interested in sleep because I was awful at sleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night and be lying there for anywhere from an hour to over two hours, and I would feel it the next day. Multiple doctor's appointments, dozens of podcasts and videos, and hours of reading later, I learned about the importance of sleep and the best practices, and as a result, changed my habits, and quite literally changed my life for the better. More energy, better focus, and improved performance. What more could you ask for? So these three guys, a Cy Young Award winner, a world champion, and an NBA MVP, all know the importance of sleep and make time for it. So I ask, do you make sleep a priority? Before we begin, let's get a basic background on sleep. There are three broad stages of sleep. First, we have light sleep, and that starts the process and breaks up the rest of your sleep throughout the night. Slow wave sleep is concentrated in the first part of the evening and is the physically restorative portion of a good night's sleep. And finally, there's rapid eye movement sleep, and that's concentrated in the later parts of sleep and is mentally restorative. This is when we dream and your brain recharges. But why is sleep important? Let this sink in, you do not get stronger in the gym. You build muscle while sleeping. The hormones that are required for muscle growth and maturing all get released during slow wave sleep. 95% of the growth hormone you release during the day comes during this period. So why work out if you aren't sleeping properly? You definitely aren't making the gains you could be without the proper sleep. And you guys are dedicated and know the importance of the gym. Now it's time to take your sleep and recovery seriously too. The weight room simply provides the stimulus for your muscles to grow. They break down and only grow back stronger when your hormones get released during deep sleep. And also think about this. Recovering better allows you to train harder the next day, which over time adds up to blowing past your competition. But next you need to sleep well to perform well. Under seven hours of sleep begins to show objective impairment to both the brain and body. And some quick examples include jumping, sprinting, peak muscle exertion, and reaction times all get worse with less sleep. An interesting note on the reaction time study with Stanford basketball players is that even players who thought they were getting enough sleep, like between seven and eight hours, still saw improvements when their sleep was extended. Also, the less sleep you get, the more likely you are to get injured at some point over the course of a season. And we all know you can't perform unless you're healthy and on the field. And finally, sleep is important for skill development. When you practice a new movement, say you're changing, changing your mechanics at the plate or on the mound, at first it is super unnatural. But during REM sleep, your brain takes that information and smooths out the sticking points, those points where you need to think, and makes the movement automatic. REM sleep is when new skills get ingrained, not during practice. But REM sleep is also when memories get solidified. So it's incredibly important for academic success. So you might study as much as you can, but it won't stick if you don't get adequate REM sleep. And remember, if you're cutting sleep short, REM sleep is effectively getting chopped off. So now I'll offer some actionable tips that you can take advantage of as soon as tonight. The first non-negotiable is regularity and consistency. And yes, even on the weekends. Regularity is important because our bodies run on an internal clock called your circadian rhythm, and that dictates sleep and wake through releasing hormones. When you mess up this internal clock, you're awake when your body wants to sleep and sleeping when it wants to be awake. This results in decreased efficiency of sleep and gets in the way of recovery and performance. The next is light, and for most of you, I know that comes from your phone. So melatonin is the hormone that gets released an hour or so before it's time to sleep, and its job is to wind the body down to prep it to fall asleep. Now it knows to get released from your environment getting darker. 
but the blue light that we stare at from our phones that reminds us of the blue sky throws off that signal. So when you do try to fall asleep, you aren't fully resting because your body isn't ready and that cuts into your total sleep. This also means it's important to black out your room or like me, wear an eye mask every single night to get uninterrupted sleep. Lastly, we have temperature. Think, in the wild, it gets colder at night. As a result, our bodies have adapted and recognize cooling down as a signal for sleep. That's why it is always easier to sleep if you're a little too cold rather than too warm. So to trick your body, you can take a warm shower at night before bed. And this works because when you step out, your body immediately cools off, dropping the body and brain temperature and inducing drowsiness. But better yet, just turn down the thermostat. And if you need help after dial dialing in those foundations, I'll offer my big three, earplugs, melatonin, and magnesium. Earplugs prevent minor interruptions and disturbances that can wake you in the middle of the night and throw off your sleep. Melatonin is especially effective when changing time zones. If you have trouble falling asleep and you've made the other habit changes, then melatonin is a great place to start. And finally, I take magnesium supplement because myself and a good number of other athletes run low, prohibiting my brain and body from properly calming down. But let's not forget night routines. A lot of people find a guided meditation really helps slow down their racing mind, myself included. So I listen to a recording that prompts me to take deep breaths and think about what I'm grateful for from the day. But I recommend you find something that works for you. And light stretching, light stretching, can cue a parasympathetic signal that helps the body rest and digest. Now this is not an active warmup at all. It is a signal that you are winding down for sleep. And for minds that tend to race, Try journaling or listing out your to-do list for the next day. That way, thoughts aren't swirling around in your mind as you're trying to sleep. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive list, but are simply what helps me and others every single night. If you remember anything, remember the three, these three keys to better sleep. Challenge yourself to one, be in bed around the same time every night. Two, minimize the light in your environment before and during sleep by putting the phone on do not disturb and setting it away from the bed. And three, cool down your room. So that's it. I plead with you. If you take pride in your athletic career, it is time to make sleep a priority because others do and they will reap the benefits, slowly but surely. Now you don't want to be the one watching them from the bench, wishing you had taken advantage of the easiest way to improve. I challenge you, start tonight. <laughs>